Hello everyone. Sorry, I'm just getting set up. We were arriving a bit home late from picking Amelia up from dancing. Alright, quickly Scott dinner. I'm just finding the video now. Oh my gosh, would you look at that? I'm so bumped into Facebook. It'll be there. Um. Um, well, people can't shut the containers. The container from. was shut when I put it in. It must have been when Dad went into it. Yeah. Oh, she's helpful. He has no, can't shut either. He has can't shut either. Right, no. Thank you for your outstanding help there. I'm an outstanding citizen. Oh, I know. Right, hello everyone. Bit of a Run to get here. Oh my goodness. And I've got to do the link because my scribe is not a scribe very much. Oh. It's he's going to scribe tonight. It's called a slow commit. <laughs> he's, he's actually going to scribe for me. Oh, this is. Sorry. I did that. Um, it didn't work. I am getting there, people, I promise. Do you want the big screen? No, I'm fine. I can read. Yeah, well, oh, hello, Sandra. Right. Oh, hello, Di. No, you don't know my password. So, just gonna. Eh. May have stuck my spine together last week, unintentionally. There we go. So, that was last week's page. Hold it right up so they can see it. And focus it. And leave it there for five Hold it up seconds. so that they can see it. But yes, you've got to keep her on track. Sit up straight. What? He's normally the one that keeps us out of track. Wow. <laughs> Have you locked your chooks up? Yes. What's this on? Facebook Creator Family Creator Group. Family Group. Right. Yeah, I'm getting there. Oh, hello, Pam and Arnie Robin and Tash. Right, let's get started. Woo. Okay, let's. So here we are. This is our page of the day. We have a lovely pattern from the Lindy's. So they did come through last week. Our ink came through because it was quite thick. So it's there. And what we're going to do now is we're going to come in with our gesso. And a straight edge paintbrush. Um, um, good evening. It's going to be dry and we're going to use, oh, hello, um, it's completely dry, hasn't had any water on it and we're just going to come in and do a bit of a prime layer. Um, what are you using? Uh, gesso. Would it be on the other one store? Yes. Uh, the reason why we're doing it with a dry brush tonight is because our ink and the sequins on the other page behind this one made a little bit of a texture last week on this one and I want to kind of have that come through just a little bit because you know might as well so we're just going to come in um what's what type of gesso it's just gesso White texture gesso. Sure, that will do the trick. Any type of gesso will do the trick. Okay. Right here we go. And we're just going to make sure we get all the bits, including this in bit seam here, because we're coming up to the end of this part one of five out of our rainbow journal we want to make sure that the spine is gonna survive um debbie says hi everyone well hello debbie so we're just coming in is this streaming on youtube yes it is it's streaming on youtube so if your facebook stuff's up you can go over to youtube if youtube stuff's up you can come over to facebook and join us right here we go Now 
Now it is quite hot here, so I'm just going to do a second little bit of a run. I'm going to make this one a little bit more thicker. Um, Beck says hello everyone and Cheryl says hello. Well, hello, hello. Right, so now that we've got that there, we're going to quickly come in with just some wrapped piece, um, ripped pieces of scrap. So this was my old mat that was sitting underneath my video that got very arty farty quite fast because we did use it as a paint palette for quite a few classes because I lost my paint palette because I forgot that I put it in the freezer to save my palette that I was uh, for a painting that I was working on. So there's torn up bits. These don't, aren't going to matter. So you could just use some uh, scrap pieces of paper go around the house, receipts, or even um, a bit of uh, scrapbooking paper that you don't know how you're going to use. You bought it because at the time you were um, having a bit of a moment or... Cheryl says, I was wondering if your mum was going to do April, get to April. Going to do a rundown. Uh, yes, yes, we are going to do a rundown of the kits on, I believe, either Saturday or Sunday. We finished packing them today, actually. I've just got to cut, I think, three more titles and then we're done. Yeah. Sorry, it's just been a bit of a chaotic week. We came out of the retreat and then went straight into kit packing. So the kit rundown will be on the weekend. Uh, Mum's feeling pretty good uh, after the doctor on Tuesday, finding out that it's only an ear infection and she's going to get better by it and she's just got to go to the physio a couple of times. A few months to go. A few months to go, but it's healable, it's fixable, and we are on track which is the main thing. So we're just coming in and I'm sticking these in random points. So I did pre-tear these just because um, I never know how it's going to go when I tear my old mat up. Um, Cheryl says thank you. Raquel says evening everyone. Diana says hi. Cheryl says good news. Yes. And Beck says, such good, great news. I'm so happy to hear that. Yeah, so it's good news and it's Anne excellent. Says, that's fantastic news. Yeah, we're going to have, it's going to be good. Right. So then we're going to come in. Alright, so we've done that first layer of collage. I'm just going to lift it up to show you. And we want this one here to dry because oh. we only use gesso. Tuesday's class and I have to change because I've got to get my prescription filled for my blood pressure. But okay. the doctor can only see me Tuesday. But we'll work it out. We'll... Tuesday might change. Just look out for the email and if we'll know by definite by Saturday, won't we, Mum? Mum? Yeah, we'll know by Saturday. Where we're going to, just might be a little late. A little late. Because I've got a doctor's appointment to get a new prescription. So that's the first layer of collage we've got there. So that's all the little ripped up torn bits from our old mat, which is why we have basically a clean mat. Could you, like, hold it there and just leave it there for oh. at least a little time? One, two... Three, four, five, and take it away now. Thank you. Right. Just giving them enough time to look at it and take a picture on their own. Right. Or their phone. Right. So I'm just fixing up a little bit of the white that you can see. Also this week, I've got flowers. 
from Karen H. Quite beautiful. Uh, she did send me a beautiful card with them, but I don't... Um, I think it's in my swimming bag. I do plan to use them to stamp. Tonight, um... Not tonight. I don't know how it's going to go. If it works out well, we might use them next Thursday. Dehydrated. Imagine oh, a chrysanthemum dehydrated. That'd be great. I reckon this would be really cool to use as a brush. But that's Sunday. I can start a trend. Don't think I will. But, you know, thank you. Yeah, they're beautiful flowers. They actually smell really nice. I am always fearful of when people send flowers. Because, um, you know, the flowers that look really pretty, but then just smell real weird. You're like, hmm, interesting. Um... Carol says, beautiful, lucky girl. Raquel says, very. Um, Tash says, beautiful flowers. And Raquel says, pretty flowers. Very pretty flowers. Oh, thank you. Yeah. They're, they really are nice. And um, they were on my cutting desk. I think I'm going to take them back into that because they do add a bit of color to it. It's quite nice. Uh, my cutting desk is often just normally a paper mache mess as best to describe it um and that's if dad's orders haven't overflowed onto it because uh, my dad and i work close quarters currently until we get a bit of the back area sorted out which should be soon so we're just coming in and we're tearing up our bits of cog vellum this is the new product emmons vellum i do like it now, I do admit it looks pretty as a whole. We might do like a big piece and try and make it look like it's a rub-on type effect. And then we'll do um, these little small pieces going around. So the rub-on effect is probably going to be best if we do it uh, a few more layers in. Just because then it's less likely to get so much water on it and less likely to wrinkle on us. Um, whereas the ripped ones are probably good to do now. So what we're going to come and do, so we're going to try and sit my paintbrush so it doesn't keep rolling around on my desk. I think it's become a little bit unlevel in the last week, which is not what I really want to hear, but, you know, on notice. So before we stick these down, I notice I've got a bit of yellow on this page, but not really any on this one, so I'm just going to come in and even that out a bit. And what do you reckon I should draw on? Anything. Whatever you want. Whatever I want. That's... Pam says, beautiful flowers for a beautiful girl. Whatever does not encompass what I actually needed to be told, by the way. Okay. Give me a leather. A leather. <laughs> actually, no, I'm going to get a leather... I'm going to get a leather generator. Oh, here we go. So my light has been really annoying right now. I'm trying to fix it without removing anything from the rig. It's going to give us a random letter. Oh, I cannot wait. Generate random letter L. Something that starts with an L. Yeah. Okay. What starts with an L, Noel? Okay. If you say Lima, we are no longer Things friends. that start with L. Um, lamp. Out. Lamp, okay. We could draw a lamp. Lace. That's okay. something you could use. Yeah, that is something we could do. A lion, a lemon, a lock. We could do an L page. Kid L. Maybe we should try that. We should do like a letter yeah. focus a week. That would be fun. We I reckon do like that an alphabet. Fun. Start from A to to Z. That's 26 weeks. Gosh. 26 paintings. Oh, By the way, I think Mum made more work for you. I just found the pot you didn't wash up today. What pot? What pot? Well. I feel like it's the silver side pot from a couple of days ago. Um, Raquel sent a emoji of a lemon. Oh, a lemon? Okay. Is that why you're using yellow? Well, no, we're using yellow because we had a bit of yellow on this page, but none on this page, so it looked really odd. You know, you fix the things that look odd. Have we heard about what's happening with our painting? Uh, no, but we did hand in our port to paints last week. We still heard nothing. 
No, you're not going to hear anything for another week. No, we won't get invited to the bloody... Probably not. But just think, it's another event that you don't have to go and smile at. Well, you're probably not going to win either. Oh my gosh, that is not an attitude to have. Evening all, hugs all around, said Karen. Oh, thank you, Karen. Right, so just coming in. Kids will come out tomorrow. It's too dark to photograph them now. I was about to say, this would be an interesting weather to photograph in. Yeah, it's too overcast and dark. Oh, look at that. That looks awesome. Oh, we're going to do like a sunrisey thing. No, you should have painted your flowers. Then I'll lose painting of your flowers. I don't do realism on camera. Maybe I should paint flowers sometime and show them how to paint a bunch of flowers. It took like five weeks to do that. Um, Abstract and sort of. Uh, like you're squinting your eyes looking at the flowers. No, wasn't it the. um? What? They were leaves. The. um? Like the aloe vera. The aloe vera plant you did. I don't think I've finished that yet. No, you haven't. And you started like last year. Is that the succulents that we're yes. talking about? Yeah. Yeah, that's you a slow burner. started them literally the beginning of last year. No, I started them back in 2020. <laughs> I didn't touch it for well, over two years. And then I retouched it in this year's summer. Or well, maybe I'm, October last year. Because I saw you painting them, but you know, we're doing yeah. Oh, See? So look, it's growing. It's growing. It takes a lot of effort to do something like that. Yeah, you never paint succulents again, are you? No, dumb idea, but I am going to get it finished because I think it's going to look amazing when it's done. Yeah. I'm sure you could get it hung in like the... um. It's not rubbish. It's recycled goods. I'm sure you could... Repurposing. I'm sure you could put it in the Golden Showcase in five years' time. I'm too old for the Golden Showcase. Oh, you are. I'm officially an adult. Thank God. Hey, Nanny. I won the Golden Showcase twice. Try and beat me. No, I can't beat that. Probably not lose a thing. Is that me? Right. How was the life of Nanny today? Well, I didn't go swimming because I was finishing packing up kits. So tomorrow I have one month and I'm going for an 80 lap swim. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Yep. And I might be ditching lunch with Grandma oh. to go for a swim. Because I feel like I'd be more productive if I went for a swim. Yeah. Then tell my grandmother that I'm still not dating anyone. But I'm still single. And uh, whatever else she wants to comment about. You know, she does like you as a person, man. Oh, that's positive, isn't it? Can't read it. Ugh, who cares? Right, here we go. So we've got our yellow. So we've got it coming out there. And then I thought we could do like a little bit over here. And then we've got a bit there. But yeah, so that is the yellow added. Yellow layer. And we just did that with a paint pen and a stencil. It's a lot cleaner than having to get out the sponge, get it all over your hands. So if you don't like getting paint on your hands, that's an option. I went with this option tonight because I realized I'm wearing my new pants. And if I get paint on my new work pants, mum's going to shoot me. Because she was so proud of me when I got my new sh when I got these pants. Because she's like, you went shopping on your own and I don't have paint on them yet. So, you know, trying not to get paint on them. You're, you're lucky. Very lucky. Although, I nearly got yellow paint. I missed by a mil just a minute ago from the paint on my hand. So, um, the uh, idea might be short-lived. That's not good. Well, it's an occupational hazard. Right, so then we're going to come in and we're going to do our layer of cogs. And we're going to try and not get too many crinkles in our cogs. It doesn't really matter. But basically what we're going to do is, is we're going to come in on the back of the print. So you can tell which side of the print is. See how this is dark? And this has a little bit more cloudiness to it. So that's the cloudiness side is where you put your... 
gel medium on. I am using gloss tonight because I still have a tub of gloss. And then we did a fairly thick coat on that, by the way, to hold it down. You find a spot, you put it down. And then what we're coming to do is we're not going to rub gel medium on all of it. We're just going to come along the edges. Because if we go completely on top, it's going to crinkle in the middle. However, if we just do along the edges, it's going to hold those edges down. And that's the plan. So we're just going to come in. We're going to continue doing that. Yep. Until we're happy. And then... That's the statement of the day. My standard's not yours. My, sta my standard's not yours. I say that to you all the time. When I tell you to wash up, my standard's not yours. He still hasn't successfully accomplished that. No, no. Excuse me. Can I point out your clothing? It's like the denim ah. jeans, the denim jeans that had the big holes. They've gone. She's wearing nice new shorts now. No paint. Yeah. See? Yeah. See? There is something worthwhile not having paint on clothes. Mate, it's gonna be like in two days and I'll look at those pants and I'll just see print. Shh. I'll pay you five cents not to tell mum. Five cents? You're most likely to blurt it out anyway. I don't want to spend too much money on it. <laughs> Your secrecy is worth nothing. Really? <laughs> Dad wants... Maybe you're just not paying me enough. Milton I've... once paid you $50 not to tell Mum that he had chocolates in his car. Literally, the minute you walked in the door, you had $50 in your pocket and that you still $50, went... That was $50, mate. That was, that was $50. Mate. And you still walked in and you went like that and then you didn't even give Milton back the money. <laughs> no, he paid me. $50 not to tell people when we're outside. He didn't say for the day. He didn't give me a time on it. He just said, don't tell. And I just took it. Don't tell when you're outside. Gotta be so I have to have a full contract. Oh my yes. gosh. And no. giving me a contract, you need to at least pay me something with two O's. Two O's. That could be in cents or dollars. Or it could just be two zeros. Ah! And he's another under at the end. Oh, well then one. One dollar. One cents, which rounds down to zero cents. Man. It's still in the contract. I'm not wearing a contract. It's not worth my time. Your loss. Looks like I'm not going pan on these pants. I'm going to say a reminder for tomorrow. Check news art things. You should be focusing on your exam. <laughs> I'm, I've got my math feedback. Hmm. Where did you go? Show you after um, thing right. okay. it's a picture. So your formals are wrong. No, oh. we have flexi, and they can't. He can't hand us like a physical copy. It's not like he can just you know teleport to our house and be like, here you go. Doesn't he have magical power? No, my math teacher doesn't have magical powers. That's unfortunate. I think the only thing magical he can do is give me a grade. That's higher than you do that. <laughs> anyway, right, so now we've done the cog, the first layer. So as you can see, I've done it so then they come off of the other bits of collage that we've already stuck down. So they still have a little bit of a crinkle, as you can probably see from that one there. But overall, 
they look a bit like they're not too crinkly and that's just because we went around the edges and not fully on top so just like holding back a little bit on the glue does wonders look at that so now i think the color palette that we're probably going to go for is pink because we've got this pink in the background that we already had from the uh red ink slash bow new guinea ink we used last week uh, yellow because we added this nice yellow sunshine and I'm either thinking blue or teal now Here's my reasonings teal is mainly because of these ones. It's quite bright so you can already see it But my blue is because we have actually more blue on the page It just doesn't seem it because teal is brighter. So what are we thinking? Are we look thinking we go a pink yellow blue combo or a pink yellow teal combo? Um, please write this in chat we can't oh, like, your mind, sadly. We do have a few minutes to let it dry. Probably about 30 seconds. We live in central Queensland. It's hot. If we lived in Victoria, we would have two episodes. Two episodes? We're doing episodes now, are we? Um, Raquel, yes. Raquel said teal. Teal it is, then. Look at that. We're going to go first suggestions. You, you, you haven't had 30 seconds yet. Someone could be typing. We'll wait. Okay. Um, see, Leanne just said pink, yellow, blue. Right, okay. Great suggestion. Maybe you swap the blue out for the... I don't know. One minute. Let me see if I can find a stencil first. That would be a good idea. Okay. I felt the judgment on that one. I wasn't actually judging on that statement. That's a miracle and a half, isn't it? Why is it a miracle and a half? Are you saying my miracles aren't that good? I'm saying that this you've had quite a few in your lifetime. Okay. Yeah, we are definitely going to be using pink in the background. Colour, I think. We could go with flowers. And the stencil pink. suggestions just type them up. I've got a few actually. I've got daisies. Those ones. I do have these sunflowers that we haven't used in a while. We could use these sunflowers. I'm trying to find my favourite. What if one. you just close your eyes and go into the tub and pick a random one? That's dangerous. But let's do it. But let's do it. No. I'll do it. I'll end up with a Christmas one. No, thank you. No, no, no. Ready? We'll do it out of these four. No. Close your eyes. Eyes are closed. I already know what the placement of these are, by the way, so I know which one I'm going to choose. Uh, no! Actually, I haven't looked at them yet. Um, okay, right, here you go. If it's a really bad choice, tell me not to pick it. Well, that's not how this game works. Go for it. Pick it. Right, butterflies it is. We did butterflies last week, no? No, okay. Point of elimination. Let, here we go. Again. What's this one? I don't know. Right, flowers it is. Okay. Decision made. Let's grab out our teal paint and we're going to use our thing as a palette because once again, I have lost my palette. I haven't lost it. It's just on a holiday somewhere. That's the definition of lost. No, a vacay is lost. Or a vacay is that it's been chucked out. Yeah, that's retirement. It's retirement? Mm. For objects in our house, yes. Or is that when they stop being used? Like, I think retirement. Yeah. The herb scissors are there. They're on a permanent cruise. Yeah, with Milton. For anyone who doesn't know, Every time Milton is home, he takes another new utensil with him from the kitchen. So, he now has all three pairs of mum's hair, hair scissors because she did. She was replacing them at one point and then gave up because he was taking the new ones with him. What's he even using for? I don't know to remember, mum. Can't he get a picture? He's getting it on his inheritance early. The herb scissors. Yep, he likes cooking. I don't know. Dad's favourite stir fry spoon. Or stirrer. Well, he can't have the glass bowl. No, that broke. 
He did have his eyes on it, but it didn't finish in his, in his suitcase last time. That glass bowl has so many memories. Mum's second glass chopping board that she's kind of forgotten about. Oh, we had two. Don't bring it up. <laughs> she doesn't exactly know that that one's gone yet. Um, mm, I think that's a Christmas topic. Oh, definitely. Oh, where's the last chopping board? I'm sure we had one bigger than this. I'm sure we had two, not one. Yes, that one. And uh, there was something else. He has taken a few... Um, charges. Oh, yeah, he likes to collect charges. Not the bricks, though. No, just... Although I think he breaks a few leads on camps. Um, so what we're just coming and doing, we're doing our usual stencil technique with our sponge by putting a little bit on and then scraping it down. Um, this just gets rid of the excess. So we've only got a little bit on there. It's not overflowing. And then tapping away. Is there any tapping techniques? Uh, just straight up and down works. Uh, if you do get a bit blotchy like I have, it's okay. You can rub it on the stencil. Yeah. Uh, if you rub it, you're more likely to damage your sponge and not get a second use out of it. Or to get underneath the stencil and then literally you could have just painted a teal blob. Okay, Daddy. Uh, is there anything not to do with the sponge? Wet it while you're trying to paint with it. it turns into a mess. Did it once, never again. Does give a cool watercolor effect though, but be prepared that your page will be absolutely drenched and won't dry for days. What is the longest thing that ever took to dry? Um, I think m when I was using masking fluid. Last time I tried using it was winter. Bad idea. Bad, bad, bad idea. Because one of my friends decided that they were going to make a sculpture out of hand sanitizer. Oh, that takes forever. Don't you have to heat it? Um, well, you know the back of the art room at Chanel? Oh. Yeah. Basically, it's still drying. Oh. But it's in a mould. Right. No, thank you. It's probably going to be done by the end of the year. I don't have to try things to know it would be done. I just try them because I'm curious. No, you'd be done at the end of the year probably. Yeah, but I'm, I wouldn't try. The smell of hand sanitizer is just... Oh, what was really annoying is like during COVID, during like when you had to have hand sanitizer on everywhere, if you like accidentally got cut or had a scratch... Paper cuts, worst thing. In that time, honestly. Because whenever you went to the shop, you had to put on hand sanitizer and you'd have a paper cut from something. You wouldn't know, but you'd find out. Or at school, you know, you would accidentally scrape your hand and you'd have to rub it on. Yeah. So we're just going to come and cheat and use the stencil to draw our flowers. Cheat? Not cheating. It's just playing a different game. Exactly. Using your tools to your advantage. That sounds exactly like cheating. Can't cheat or not. Can only create. That should be your quote. Quote of the day. What quote of the day was to my name it's not yours? <sighs> who says a quote? Can, who says the day can only have one quote? Wow. There are 24 hours in a day. I'm sure we could fit multiple quotes in there. Well, it depends on the day. If it's a Sunday, probably not even a quote. Are you kidding me? Sometimes the Sunday repertoire. The of, Sunday repertoire. <laughs> of folding. <laughs> oh, you weren't out with us folding, were you? Oh, last Sunday, because you were doing it English. Right. So, yeah, here's was... Amelia contributing. She wants to watch a movie. I tell her that she needs to hang all her school uniforms because the week before this week was an absolute nightmare for uniforms. We got to Tuesday and it turns out that she had misplaced her whole folded pile of undies. Don't know what's in there. Still can't find them. Don't know. Point being, 
bit of a disaster. So we tried to fix it this week by getting her to have her own initiative to hang her own clothes and make sure everything was away. And then we went back and double checked it and redid it. Anyway, point being is it took her half an hour to hang one shirt. So, yeah. Then we made it into a competition. And it only took her 10 minutes to hang the, the other six. So, you know, I feel like I know the trick now. What, make it a race? Yep. She's not competitive at all. Well, it's kind of like, I don't know how I could turn it into a competition that she goes to choir. Because, like, mm. I'm kind of sick and tired of every week you or mum telling her to go to choir if she wants to do musical theatre next year. Well, she wants to do this musical play thing outside of school, and honestly... She's going to do choir for her. Yep. Yep. Don't worry, I have a whole week of, to think about how it's going to become a competition. I'm sure I'll get there. And what if she goes to choir and then uh, she actually goes to give her a chocolate? No. You do not reward something she should have done in the first place. Damn me. It's like this afternoon. Wait, what day's choir on? Thursdays. I was about to say, wait, when's your band on? Tuesdays. Let's say you could do a thing. No, I'm perfectly fine. I'm not using my connections just yet for this issue. Right. This is a little bit harder than what it looks. Damn That's me. how most things turn out, man. This is so many like petals on each one of these flowers. I swear my flowers that I draw by hand doesn't have this many petals. Hand drawn. Keyword. Keyword. Like I'm really a hundred percent certain about this. Well, obviously your crystal ball isn't working. No. We didn't shake your eight ball hard enough. Maybe we just don't believe in wiki. Yeah, I reckon what was the thing about the eight ball? That we were gonna buy mum an eight ball for Christmas. Oh yes, and it was gonna have um sayings because who was it? Someone found that you could like personalize eight ball sayings. Yes, but like once again, it's not. <laughs> I reckon we do it. Oh my god! Like, and you have ones like Amelia's doing something. One for each kid. An eight ball for each kid. Amelia is at school. Nelson. How about you discuss this with Nelson? Because I've already organised mum and dad's gifts and I'm kind of done with birthday gifts. I've also organised yours. Yeah. Don't change your mind. I'm not changing my mind. Wait, I don't even know what you're talking about. That's exactly the point. I'm confused. Yeah. I'll bet you will be on your birthday too. Have I bought the wrong gift? You know, some days I just don't question. When? I don't question a lot of days. Can like I? when I wake up to Dolly Parton singing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> to the next one. Bargain store. We could set that as your alarm when you no. wake up in the morning. I, I can thank Sylvia. <laughs> you don't want that? For being an alarm clock on a lot of days. I can't believe we don't want it. I kind of gave up on the flowers. I will admit, they look kind of cool, but at the same time, they took forever to draw. I have no idea if I've gone about it the right way either because it's like they're super inky. They look cool, but I wish it was like a stamp. It would make it so much easier. You could have got your sponge. Yeah, but I didn't. I only wanted an outline. I didn't want the full thing. I was being picky. Being, you could make a stamp for it. I could have. You know, a two hour waxing class. What are the stamps made of? 
All right. Okay, I'm just going to come and put a second layer of our ripped collage pieces on now. Same thing, but we're going to use our gel medium. Yeah, I do like this color palette. I spent a whole year, my whole first year of uni, I think I only created in teal, pink, and yellow. I'm on my first semester because they are my colors. Yep. Is that the bananas? No, that's the salad stuff from the shop that's off. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's because straight after I opened up the bag, I had to come scribe. Um, Cheryl says loving it. Colors are very soothing. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Right, here we go. That's not my fault. I think we should blame Dad. I didn't go to work today. Well, I wasn't at work, so it can't be my fault. Why can't we blame Dad? He can be here when he gets home. At 11 p.m. We write a sticky note. We blame you for the beetroot in the boot of the car. <laughs> sure, someone will remember it tomorrow. When you open the boot and stinks like beetroot. Real and honest answer. What? Why can't blame Dad? Because I said so. Yeah, but you well, you can't blame me because I wasn't there. What? You're the one that unloaded the car. <sighs> You're the one who probably turned the bag up the wrong way. I didn't turn yeah. the bag up. And there's a big rag of beetroot juice out the boot of the car. Do you expect me to get my hands and knees and clean up chicken poo concrete? Yes. <laughs> by the way, beetroot permanently stains. I so by the morning, tomorrow morning it'll look like we've got a blood stain from the car to the front door. Permanently, but it's, it's just not, beetroot. It's not that weird, man. Look, if they want to question it, they can smell it. Because beetroot smells like beetroot. Right. I'm moving addresses tomorrow. Why? You'll see. <laughs> <laughs> it's just beetroot. Yeah. I'm still moving addresses to avoid this conversation. <laughs> If they really want to, they can look the, in the yard and they'll find, like, how many budgies are there in the yard? How many budgies do we own? Two. I don't have any budgie dead ones. I think Three. we only have one buried here. Oh, yeah, we only got one. All the chickens are over there. Okay, no. <laughs> We've gone for a few pets in our lifetime. Ooh. Budgies don't live very long. No, not on the food that we were originally given for them. It's quite sad, actually. The food they make you buy is just... One of the foods was poisonous. Anyway, fun fact, we learned that the hard way. Um, so we just did another layer of collage, and it kind of breaks the colour up a little bit more, I think. It gives it a bit more of that pop in it. And then what we're going to come and do is we're going to grab out our script stamp. Heads up, Mum and I have been looking into how we can get some different script stamps and how we could make some different script stamps. And we're on our way to doing it. Is that so? Yeah, in a few months. Raquel says, looking cool. Right, and then because we've added the pink and it's a bit hot, we've got to add some water. This is going to make it a little bit more loosey-goosey. But... If we don't add the water, no paint is going to come off this stamp because it is too hot. Sure. Oh, I'm dapping it. We could take ourselves to another state. We could go like... Oh, yes. Let me just transport myself. Six... No. Twelve... Mm, yep. Twelve hours south. Where are you going? New South Wales. 
I'm Thanks. looking to be in New South Wales in 12 hours. Let's go to Victoria if you want somewhere cold. That's a whole... That's a long trip. Well, it's not like we live in Britain where it's like, you know... Two hours and you're in another country. Or what is it? Four hours and you're in another country. No, it's like, it depends. Like, from the very outskirts, it's four hours. But from the middle, it's like two hours to another country. Like, and the roads aren't that fast over there, are they? Mm, I think they go 300 mile per hour. Or maybe that's America. I don't know. That's America. There's not enough. I don't know how to fast British roads. Does it look like I've ever travelled to Europe? Right. I'm sure someone knows, but obviously not either of us. Because we've only ever lived in Australia. Yes, you've only ever lived in Gladstone. <laughs> <laughs> and you lived in Brisbane for two years. Three and a half, and I'm not going back. <laughs> Hopefully not. It was fun. I will admit that. But I'm not really a city person. I don't think Milton's ever coming back to the town. No, Milton is born for the city. He is bred he was for born it. in the city. He is bred for that place. Well, then you and me were born in Gladstone. I'm just poor, mate. I feel kind of like an alien down there some days. In Brisbane? Well, if you tell someone from Brisbane, Gladstone, you usually need to pull out your phone, do a quick, like, you know, Google Maps, um, zoom in, and they'll probably think, yep, yeah, Rocky. I'm going to say six hours north. I don't do all of that busy. Because whenever you go on school trips, like, oh, where are you guys from? I'm like, Gladstone. I'm like, where's that, like, near Rocky? And they're like, oh, Rocky. And we're like, no, near Rocky. Well, you have fun with that. Like fun with flags. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was very random, man. Not really. If you're my brain, it would make sense. It's just a side step. Side step. Mm -hmm. I'm just coming in and drawing some triangles. Because I think we need some triangles. Triangles make the day better. Mm, yes. Always do. Always Isn't everything do. everything made up of triangles or something? Uh, that's what trigonometry people believe. I don't know. Do I look like a scientist? No. Did I go into science? No. no. I went into art. I was about to say, you can't really ask someone with an art degree if everything's made up of triangles. Oh, uh, thanks. I do you have some intelligence? Just... Don't wish to use it on trigonometry. Really? It's not like you did an art degree. Wow. No, you sound like that. You have fun with whatever degree you do. It's probably not going to be a trigonometry degree. Why? Well, because you find it boring, annoying, or both? Is there a third option? Hard. We'll go with all three. Trigonometry is not that difficult, it's just numbers. This is an interesting red time outfit that doesn't match. Does she want to say goodnight? Yeah, she's calling her teeth first. What's, what's the outfit? Mismatched. We shall see. your father picked it, but she likes mismatched pyjamas apparently. It's like my socks. I haven't worn an even uh, uh, pair of matching socks for years. <laughs> You, they're not they're not even both your socks. I know. One's Noah's, which his foot doesn't fit into anymore, so it's officially mine by hand me down standards. That's hand me up. That's hand me up. <laughs> hand me up, hand me down. Same thing. You are smaller than him, but he's <laughs> a giant. And then I think the other one's theirs. That's hand me down. So you got one hand me down. The other one's mine. Hmm. Probably so you've knows. got one hand me down, one hand me up. So you're very much matched. Exactly. I don't actually think I own my own socks. You don't. It's like how you steal most of people's clothes. 
You could wear some of my shirts if you wanted. Pardon? Yeah, I don't wear your shirts or shorts, only socks. It's not that bad. At least you're not wearing nearly socks. Can't fit my foot in those yet. Yes. My feet are the smallest in the family. Well, apart from Amelia's. Amelia's like eight. Yeah, and her foot is already three quarters the size of mine. Welcome to. I'm gonna have Amelia's shoes soon. <laughs> <laughs> All of Amelia's shoes are size like. I reckon they'd be great for art, by the way. Mate, Nana will probably sell them. Or give them to wh whatever the... The nations is, which is a great cause. And I was about to say, he, the great-grandchild that's been born, Jalen's... No, I don't know. Jalen's girl. I don't think they've given it a name yet. I, I like Jalen so much right now. Because you know what? He didn't make me go to his baby shower. <laughs> I'm very thankful. I think I don't know if Nana's met the girlfriend. Yes. I can answer that one for you. She has. Well that's right, I've heard about this. Yes. But no, I'm very appreciative of Jalen. I did not have to go to his baby shower. None of us did. Exactly. You should be thankful. I don't think we're gonna be invited. I do not care. I have been to a total of about eight baby showers in my life. One of them was Amelia's. And one of them was mine. Amelia's was funner. Um, yes, Amelia's was funner. She was there. Oh. <laughs> and what? Just because I wasn't born for mine? Like, you know the drill, mate. And saying that you did come two days after it, so. Yeah, thank you, God they had it then. You were close. I'm coming under these wild parts again because they weren't exactly what I wanted. Which is just a bit sad, realistically. I spent all that time trying to stencil them down. I can't exactly see them currently, so I'm just going to come in and with my watercolours. I'm just going around the outside of them. With this deeper blue. Are you done cleaning your teeth? Mm -hmm. Oh god. It's not that bad. Oh, I am. It's not bad. It's not it's not bad, it's just very It's her. It's two different seasons. You've yeah. got spring, autumn. When is autumn and spring? Autumn and spring are nowhere near close near. Yes, well, they are. Guess it's right. currently autumn here and it's spring over in America. So you're no, not. wrong. It actually is. Isn't it when. Oh no, winter's going next to America. No, summer's going next to America. Yes, and then it's winter. Winter's their last one. I thought it was autumn no, currently. Winter's their last one because Christmas is winter over there. It's spring over there. 
it's spring currently because they're winter and in February. Uh, I thought the winter was in Christmas. Yes, their no. winter is in Christmas. And We're in autumn. Their winter is in our July. No, their winter is in our summer. Because oh. over there, July and that was, is summer. And it's, and it's also the last one because December is the last day in December. Okay. Yes, which means it's autumn currently, or uh, uh, winter, uh, spring, spring over, over there. there, and it's autumn here. Done. Dusted. <sighs> now I have to explain. Say goodnight to Nara and go out to Nara. Go to bed now. Huggies. Go to bed now. Huggies. You can go to bed. Oh, you can go to bed. Now I just have to explain seasons to my siblings. Bye bye, Susie. Good night. Go to bed before Mum realizes that you're still up. Mum recognizes it. Mm, sure. Just go. I just had an epiphany. Oh my god. I don't know how I get Neely to go to cry now. Oh goodness, here we go. We'll let her stay up a little bit longer, but we won't tell her how long. What, so it's going to be like 10 seconds? Yes! Do you know she knows how to read a clock? Well, then we make it two minutes. There's a difference in the clock then. Or you show your phone and you change your clocks on your phone. But that's all what of effort. Oh my god, do you see the problem here? Or you take a screenshot of another time. Around, and you mm. show it out. Right. Don't you like my idea? Sure. That's not a good sure. What is that? Right, so we just added some blue dots just to, I think, calm it, but I don't know if it actually did. <laughs> Bit of a moment there, isn't it? It's very coral. I think colourful would be the word. Very tropical. Your face says it all, no? My face does not say it all, because they cannot see my face. My face doesn't make any words. It's not like now my forehead's making letters. Never know. One day it might. It could be the forehead word. Well, considering Dad's forehead sometimes looks like the Wi-Fi. <laughs> Is he watching? No, he's stuck taking it coals tonight. Um, Cheryl said, whoa. Thank you. So we're just adding some more yellow in. We did get the blue in there, Leanne. We did, we did, we did. Peel kind of took over like it normally does because it's quite a bright colour. So we want to make sure that we balance this teal out again. Just a bit of yellow here and there. Give it time for lines. I mean, it's called the fan. Oh, thank you, everyone. So, yes, yeah, so that's, I think, class tonight. So something a bit different, how to use up a piece of paper that you don't really want to use or don't really know how to use, That's a good skill. along with um, rice, uh, along with your cogs that we we did kind of make it look like rub ones, didn't we? Because they're not too poppy up, like they're just in the background there. They're sneaky. Our vellum, it's the vellum that doesn't crinkle, along with. Our paper that we don't really know how to use and drawing through stencils with paint markers saves you from the sponging, all the messiness of it. Because sponging can sometimes get really messy. Not gonna lie, it gets a bit. How's your mate? But yeah, sorry, I'm trying to hold this still, but I keep moving. I think it's me breathing. Mm -hmm. um, so <laughs> thank you all for coming to tonight's class. We are back tomorrow night at 6 30 p.m queensland time i think we go back to 
non-daylight savings in the next couple of weeks, which should be fun. Um, Imagine too much fun uh, Maybe. Um, anyway, so we're coming back tomorrow at 6.30 p.m. Please on time for Mum's Friday night scrap along. Don't know what we're using. It was in the email, so if you have your email, just check that one. Uh, and then on Saturday we have our usual weekly roundup, and then either Saturday afternoon or Sunday morning we will be having our kits roundup for April. Um, just a reminder that the weekly kits are now a subscription-based model, so if you do want to watch those classes, you can either buy a twenty-dollar subscription at the start of the month. Um, I also believe May is available, or you buy a lot of kits, or just one of the kits. If you buy a subscription and then you want to buy one of the kits, you just call us and then the kit is only $15. You get $5 off then, off your kit, um, because you already bought the subscription. So thank you all for coming. And uh, we shall see you all tomorrow night for another excellent class on Open Facebook or Elisa's slash my mum's um, well, my mum's YouTube channel. I don't know why I called her Elisa. Oh, that sounds so wrong. Anyway, so thank you all for coming and have a great night. Bye.